Hello, Mom, and welcome to Life Journaling and Dash. And Diaries. We're your hosts, David. And you know And after living all over the world. And being married for over 30 years. We decided to share our journey. And the adventures. Our hope is to encourage others. Aloha and welcome to a live update from Life Journaling and Dash with myself, David, and Yuvella. We've closed our laptops and this is what we do for a live update. It's just to turn on the record button and then to visit with you and tell you about something that's maybe encouraging or talk story as we say in Hawaii. And today we wanted to give you a live update on what's going on. Now we're in a campground here in Seattle, Washington, Issaquah, but I thought it was important to bring you up to speed in real time of what's going on. Now, we started our journey back in October, the 1st of October of 2021. Yeah, and we've been traveling all over, and I've been documenting, and so those are the travel updates that you get to see each and every weekend. But sometimes we need to take a break from what's going on. Now, we're not taking a break, but I thought it was important. So I asked you, Bella, if we could record a special live update so that you would understand what's going on. Live journaling in Dash is meant to be us live journaling. This is what we do. We read scripture together and visit. And then the Dash is meant to be the mark of time between on your gravestone the day you're born and the day you die, there's that scratch or that dash in the middle. And we want to make the most of our dash for God. What is going on right now, Yuvella? Um, There's a bear loose in the campground. True story. <laughs> True story. We're on bear alert. But we are, since you're not saying it, I'll share. We have made the choice, and we go with God, to empty out this version of Dash and to um, pack up a lot of our possessions and belongings, and we're going to be shipping those to Honolulu. And we've always had a condominium there, but we haven't lived there. So we are moving to Hawaii at the end of June, June, June 30th. We have one way tickets. We'll still be doing life journaling in Dash, but we won't be in this 36 foot long rig pulling another 19 foot Jeep behind it because we were offered um, more money for Dash than we paid for. Him. And so we thought, you know, we should look at doing that. Maybe God is calling us to a different season. We still may get back into a smaller rig that even you can drive later on. And so we still expect that we'll be traveling, whether it be Japan, wherever. Uh, we don't know. We will tell you that we are planning to do live journaling on the Saturday. I think it's the 11th of September. It's that weekend. I don't have a calendar to front of me, but we'll be doing live journaling at Magic Island at 8 o'clock. And so if you're on Hawaii, you can join us there on the beach and we'll be doing just a big meet and greet with um, a lot of people from all over. And um, we'll continue, like I say, to be doing the live journaling. Uh, that's not going to stop. That started 20 years ago. So we're going to continue to do that. Um, briefly, I'll tell you, the dogs are staying right now with our children in Seattle, our son and daughter-in-law and our grandbaby. Um, that's not an easy thing, but, um, oh, our granddaughter loves Ollie and Hannah, so they're going to be well taken care of. There's some, uh, legal things that prevent us from taking the dogs where we want to go to Hawaii, but I wanted to share with you and you're usually a pretty private person about things, but you've allowed me to break the news that we are selling off Dash. But uh, before Dash, there was Leo. Leo was well, the class C that we took around. For when we first talked about selling off, selling Dash, 
it took us two weeks to decide what we wanted to do. And during that time period, we would talk about it and pray. Well, what we did was we talked about it when we went, like you went to work out and I went to swim and we talked to God about it. And then we'd come back and say, here's what I feel God's saying. This is what I feel God. And so it took us two weeks of really searching with God saying, what direction do you want us to take? Because we went in for an oil change and car wash. <laughs> that was it in Dallas. And, um, we really like National Indoor RV Center, and we said to them, what's the process for um, consignment and selling a rig? Well, again, it wasn't something that we had taken lightly. We spent a lot of time in prayer, and doors that we never thought would open up, opened up. And so, again, it was like, Lord, we really feel that you're leading us this way. But um, we need you to guide us. We need you to let us know. And again, things just kind of fell into place. Um, the important to know is that when things fell into place, it did not happen smoothly and overnight. A lot of prayer has gone into it. And right now, even though it's the 11th of June and we leave in... 19 days, I feel that there's still a lot of things that still have to, we have to go through to, to get there. We're shipping the Jeep to Hawaii, um, so that we'll have transportation. And, you know, I go back and I reflect, who buys an RV or a car and then turns around and sells it for more than they paid for it in 12 months or 24 months? Who does that? So uh, there are a lot of things that I would say are God provided, God ordained. And so that's where we're going to go. And uh, we've enjoyed our time in Dash, but it is a big rig. It's massive. It's like a tour bus and you can't drive it. And uh, I can't drive it safely. True. You've driven it like three or four feet forward <laughs> to check the brakes on the Jeep. But... Um, yeah, oh, we have had adventures throughout our life. I was a DJ in Texas. I was a DJ with the Air Force overseas in Iceland, Norway, Tokyo. And you've been a teacher in Oregon. You were a teacher in Iceland, Norway, <laughs> Tokyo. Uh, so we've had continuous adventure. We'll continue to have adventure. We'll continue to share it with you that are listening to the podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud and also through the YouTube video, um, Life Journaling in Dash Diaries. The live updates are meant just to inform you about what's going on, but also to uh, help us when there's weeks that we don't have time for editing. And we think, you know, we need to just share with you some background and some ways to be encouraged or... Um, ways to communicate with others because this is what it is it's a community we do have a private facebook group over on facebook called life journaling in dash it'll ask you a couple of questions and then you can join and you can be there with gosh matt and christian and sierra and so many other people that are forming this community and then also on youtube we have Bo out of Mesa, Arizona. We have Norma Jean out of Hawaii. And, you know, saying these names, I want to thank each and every one of you that have watched these videos. We'll continue to make them. Um, you've always got a new computer. <laughs> Which is another story about why we don't cry over spilled milk, because it kills the computer. But, um, no, we're just sharing with you our lives and hopefully it's encouragement to you that we need some good examples of where people face trials and tribulations. And just like we read in uh, Philippians today, Philippians 1, that uh, Paul was praying for the people, whether or not he could be there or not. But he was praying. And we pray for you, those of you that listen to the podcast, those of you that watch the channel on YouTube or SoundCloud. And uh, I just want to say thank you. But that's what's going on in our life. We are leaving the campground this morning 
to go pack up. We have a pod arriving sometime today, an empty shell. We're going to load it in with tapes and video recording equipment <laughs> and lots of pictures and a, a few Aloha shirts and a bread maker and a crock pot. And then we're going to ship that over to Hawaii. Again, we'll be there to do some live journaling and also we'll do a meetup on uh, that Saturday around the 11th of September. If you can be there, that's great, but don't make a trip just for this. But if you're there, um, it'd be great to see you. And that's it. If you have questions, you can put those in the comment section of the podcast or the YouTube video. Uh, please uh, give us words of encouragement. We're doing okay. You doing okay? Yeah, we're doing okay. Again, who offers you more money than you paid for a vehicle? <laughs> and this is a rather large vehicle. So we're going to go with God. And that's going to be fine. That we'll, You know, each and every day we're going to continue to meet with God. And so life will be good. So until then, I'm going to close this out in prayer. But you be good and stay close to God because through highs and lows, he's there for you and you have the gift of the Holy Spirit if you're a believer. Father God, thank you so much for all that you've given us on the road. Uh, we continue to pray about our next season, but also about getting back on the road. We ask you to bless all those people that listen to the podcast and watch the YouTube video, that they would be strengthened, they would be encouraged and let them know that they're not alone as they're encouraging to us. I pray for all our sisters and brothers in Christ. In your son's name, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen.